Today we are going to show you how to make an absolute classic from our childhood, chocolate concrete otherwise known as chocolate crunch. This is something definitely common within primary schools within Birmingham and the no other areas of the country. However, a lot of people don't even know what this is. As we learned from going to university, including someone a part of this channel who's Welsh did not know what this was. This recipe will be slightly different to what you would probably find online as this is a recipe from my nan which I've also adapted slightly. The first thing we're going to do is melt some butter. This can be replaced with an equal amount of margarine. Stirring over a medium heat until it is completely melted and we're going to continue to leave it in the pan for a little bit longer to make sure it is browned. Browning butter is the process of cooking out the water within it and then toasting the milk solids that are left behind. This will completely change the taste of the butter and can really improve any desserts that you are making. If you're using margarine just melt it normally instead of this as this will not work as margarine is made from vegetable oil and not milk. We're then going to add some self raising flour to a bowl, some cocoa powder and make sure this is not hot chocolate, some sugar, we would have used all white sugar but we did run out and use golden caster sugar. This still resulted in a delicious dessert though. We're then going to whisk it all together to make sure it is mixed up thoroughly. Once mixed we're going to add our brown butter, some vanilla extract and one whole egg. We're then going to mix it together using the whisk just to make sure the egg is completely broken up before switching to a wooden spoon to fold it all in together. This dough is very different to that of other cakes as it will not be in any way runny at the end. As you can see here, when it is fully mixed together it will have the resemblance of wet cement and crumbly if you pushed it between your fingers. We're then going to portion this into two separate cake tins, however you can just put them into one large one. Then pushing down on it to make sure it's a thin layer and evenly spread across the entire tin. We're then going to place these into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. We're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. When this is baked, we're going to take them out and immediately sprinkle them with sugar, also cutting it into six pieces while it is still hot. This is because if it goes cold, it will be very hard to cut them without them breaking apart. We're then going to let them cool and they'll be ready to eat. These are best served completely cooled and with custard as this would become solid and crumbly at this point, which is the exact texture that we want. And there we have a classic dessert and one of my personal favourites of all time. Like I said earlier, this deviates slightly from other recipes you'll see online. Most do not use butter, instead using margarine and even some use lard and a lot do not use an egg. However, my family have been making this for decades and it has always turned out amazing. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure that all regions of the UK will know what this is and some may know this through a different name. However, if you know what this is, you'll definitely have a nostalgia feel to it and if you do not, you will have found a very unique and delicious dessert. Thank you for watching, please check out our latest video that is on the screen now and all of our social media handles as well as the recipe will be in the description below.